Hi everyone, welcome to Joe's Kitchen Capers. Let's talk bone broth. Our recipe you will see in the link below. Our bone broth is something so easily made at home. You can use bones off a roast or anything or buy bones. In my recipe, we've used chuck bones and a marrow bone. It's nutritious, full of minerals such as magnesium and glucosamine. So really, really good healing properties. I'm just heating some up at the moment. I, you can either drink it on your own or you can add it for, to stews and soups. I sometimes at the end of doing a stir fry just put a ladle full of broth in just to help steam the vegetables and it just packs a bit more nutrition into it. Um, it's even really trendy at the moment. I read on someone's blog last week that you can people are popping it into their smoothies and at trendy cafes, etc. You can buy a bone broth smoothie, which look, it's full of good stuff, so it can only be good for you. Give our recipe a try. Leave any comments on the link below. Let's pour this out now and we'll give it a taste test. So what I've done is I've just heated it in my Thermomix. I can pour it in here. It smells delicious. Now what you can do from here on in is you can add a few flavorings. So I've actually got just a few chili flakes, some salt and some pepper, so I can sprinkle a bit of that in. I like it spicy. You don't have to use the chili if you don't want to. And then I'm just going to grate in a few aromatics. I've got a little bit of ginger. And a little bit of garlic. I don't go crazy on the garlic because we had this a few weeks ago and it nearly blew our socks off because we had so much in there. So let's put a little bit of that in. And I'm going to finish with some lovely freshly gra well, grated turmeric really good healthy addition and it's also full of anti-inflammatory properties. Grab a teaspoon and give this a little stir. See how we go. Now a little trick I do, I'll just share with you while I am doing this. My ginger and my turmeric yeah, I actually keep it in the freezer. That way it doesn't go all soft and stringy and you can just bring it out and grate a little bit when you need it. So try our beef bone broth. Hope you love it. It's really, as I said, nutritious and delicious. Stop buying any stocks or broths from the supermarket. They're full of preservatives and additives. Make this at home and you can just freeze it down and use it as you need it. See you next time. Bye.